Check out the chip stocks today. The SMH ETF barely in the green right now. AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA a mixed bag. Uh, the stock's reacting to news that potentially makes the CHIPS Act more likely to pass in Congress. Elon Moy is standing by with the Commerce Secretary for the very latest on that effort. Elon? Well, Kelly, we are just learning from a source familiar that Senator Schumer has started telling his caucus to prepare for a floor vote as early as Tuesday to start moving a very limited competition bill that includes that $52 billion in funding for CHIPS as well as a separate investment tax credit. And here to talk about all of it with us today is Secretary Gina Raimondo. Thank you so much for taking the time out. I know you're busy, knee deep in negotiations on Capitol Hill. So I was hoping you could lay out the state of play for us. Is this sort of CHIPS only bill the path forward? Is this gonna be the final solution? It seems like we're moving in that direction. Uh, you have said that Schumer has said that earlier today. You saw Republican leadership, Republican leaders, Senator Cornyn, Senator Blunt, coming out saying they would be supportive of a much slimmed down version of the bill. Uh, it seems like Republicans and Democrats are coming to grips with the urgency mm -hmm. of this situation. If they don't, pa if this doesn't happen next week. China wins, the United States loses. It really is that simple. And so I'm starting to feel the urgency and coalescing around a really slimmed down version with a focus and priority on the CHIPS funding. What changed though, because this is something that you guys have been working on for over a year, why do you need to act now in order to make this happen when we're already hearing companies say they're making investments in Texas, in Ohio, in Arizona? Yeah. Well, a couple things have changed. First of all, uh, Ukraine, I think, has highlighted the fact that, you know, there's 200 plus chips in every Javelin launching system. And our national defense contractors are working furiously with Ukrainian replenishment. And I think there's a real acknowledgement that this is a core national security issue. The United States of America makes no leading edge semiconductors on our shores. We buy them all from Taiwan. All of the new legacy chip capacity that's come online in recent years is from China. And so I think that the focus on the national security element of this bill, which has been brought into focus, obviously due to the war in Europe, has had senators and Congress people really come to grips with the reality. But the other thing, which is why it has to happen next week, is you know, earlier this week, Global Foundries was in France announcing an expansion there, not in the United States, because France provided an incentive. You see Global Wafers saying it'll either be Texas or South Korea, depending on whether CHIPS passes this summer. So the point of it is, the U.S. is going to lose out, quite literally, this summer uh, to Europe or Asia. If at home, you have reports that Intel is going to be raising prices of some of its chips by as much as 20%. Mm. How does that help solve that problem now? Yes, you know, candidly, uh, it does take years. It'll take, it'll take a couple of years for these new facilities to be up and running. And so it doesn't provide much leaf, relief today. You saw today Toyota is um, shutting down an operation in Texas because of lack of chips. Car companies have furloughed so many workers. So we have to get through the immediate crisis. However, we also have to start now because shame on if Congress leaves for August and this isn't passed and these companies go build in Japan, Singapore, Taiwan, Europe, we lose out and we lose out forever. They only they only make, you know, one mega fab mm -hmm. 20 billion dollar investment once. And so we're playing for the long game here. We're playing for America's long-term national security, but we have to move now if we're going to you know, have the window to, to make this reality. Secretary Mundo, thank you so much for taking the time out. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Kelly, I'll send it back to you. Yeah.